So this is help for the my maths homework on rotation. If you um, are struggling to do this, if you haven't got tracing paper, I wouldn't worry too much about this one. Just give it a go, but you are going to be um, making some guesses, and I would expect some things to go wrong. But I'm not going to be uh, too particular about these scores. So, like I said, just give it your best go, and then spend the rest of your time on the number worksheet. Okay, so let's go look what we got. Right, so. I'm not going to actually do these because you need tracing paper to do it first. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how to do it. So each diagram shows the shape being rotated from position A to position B. Describe the rotation fully. So we need three things um, in order to do it. We need to have the center, the angle, and the direction. So they give you two boxes, one for the coordinates for the center and one for the angle, but you're meant to put C or A in there to say clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now it also says, copy the diagram out first. Now to save you a bit of time, you can get some tracing paper up on the computer screen. You have to press lightly, because I don't want you to damage your monitor. So you might want to copy it out if you think that might be an issue. Otherwise, if you are careful, you could just hold it up to the monitor and then turn things around and actually see the shape. It might actually, because of the light from the monitor, we might actually be able to do this without proper tracing paper, just with some normal paper. If you've got some uh, line paper, you might be able to see through it. So you draw over shape A, and then you would just putting your finger down somewhere, just turn the shape until it comes over part B and then find out where that coordinate is. Okay, so um, you can kind of do this if you think about sort of it going up and then sort of down. Okay, so you can hopefully perhaps see that this is where the center is going to be for that one. And uh, similarly, you can hopefully see that uh, certain ones are going to be in certain positions, uh, sort of. But it's difficult to actually see where it is without the tracing paper. So I would advise doing that. Otherwise, it's not going to be very uh, easy to do. And it's not going to be very realistic either, because every single time you do a GCSE, you're going to have some tracing paper. All right, next one. Um, so, again, if you're careful with the tracing paper, you can do it over the screen, but don't press too hard. Just uh, lightly draw over the shape, lightly hold down where it's got the center, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, and then you can see where the new shape is meant to be, and you can move your coordinates. And you can move your coordinates, and you can check it by putting your paper back on. Okay, so that's a little bit of advice how you can do this homework. But... I know I've said it a bunch of times, just going to say it one more time. If you haven't got tracing paper, don't worry too much about this. Just have a guess, probably get some wrong, and just spend the rest of your time on the um, number worksheet. Okay? That's it.